Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and today we are going to be taking a look at 52pi.com or on Amazon known as Geek Pie Hall. So let's get started. So before we begin, I got to say that 52pi or Geek Pie on Amazon was able to provide me with everything that I needed. And I'll leave all the links in the description below for everything that we're going to review right now. To begin, we are taking a look at this heat sink. Uh, they actually have multiple colors. I ended up with green. The big heat sink is actually for the CPU. The black one is actually for the USB uh, power converter. And then this bronze, uh, this copper one is actually for the GPU underneath the Raspberry Pi. But again, you could use it for anything else. And I got a bunch of these, which you can never have enough. Next up is this really cool board called the uh, VGA666. So the reason why I got this was because someone on my Facebook page was actually talking about this on how to set up this VGA adapter to uh, use a dual monitor setup for his Raspberry Pi. Now this whole thing actually goes on the GPIO pin and it's supposed to be able to output through the GPIO pins. I haven't played with it yet, I haven't tried it at all, but I am going to try and make a video on how to get this thing set up. So another thing I got was this standard Pi case. It's just black, but what I did like about it was that it actually comes with a, a tiny, tiny fan built inside. So it keeps your Pi extremely cool. And this goes right into the power and ground pin on your Raspberry Pi or Tinkerboard. Now for the actual product, why I reached out to Geek Pi or 52 Pi, which is this dual fan setup. This thing looks really cool. It's got two tiny little fans on a pretty beefy, aluminum heat sink. It's got some weight to it and to stick this onto the actual Pi itself it is held onto with this 3M thermoconductive cooling tape that goes right on the bottom of this and then you can stick this on top of the Pi. But I gotta say this thing is extremely quiet. It's got a little bit of a vibration. I don't know why but it's really really quiet and it keeps everything cool. And last but not least, I actually ended up getting another five inch screen. Now I've got this before and I have a video on it, but I ended up getting another uh, five inch touch screen. And this is slightly different from the, the one that I actually demoed before on my previous video because of the mounting holes on a different spot. But ultimately it's similar on installation and everything. Uh, it's a touch screen. The HDMI has to be plugged into the HDMI on the Raspberry Pi but the uh, touchscreen runs off the GPIO pins. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys want me to review other products for Raspberry Pi and stuff like that, leave it in the comments below. Now I know on my previous video, a lot of you guys have been asking me to set up or create a video on mining. I am working on that and I am putting that together. So, so remember to hit that little bell notification icon so you know when that video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.